Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? Sacred Fire Negro here, and I have a little Pokemon Tournament discussion video. Um, hopefully, all this gets cleared out, and hopefully a lot more news comes through, or they change it, or whatever. But if you're gonna watch this, and after the video, you do feel like, yo, this guy is right, yo, he's right, be, uh, by all means, tweet this out at Namco Bandai, and any, like, literally, tweet this out at Namco Bandai. Please, like, just talk to them. Tweet this out at them. Give it a thumbs up, let people know, share this, and uh, let's just get into it. So, if you don't know, Pokemon Tournament, Pokemon Tournament, the new Pokemon fighter game that's coming out in the spring, or rather, yeah, in the spring, March 18th, 2016, for the US, I think, and then over there in Europe and over there in Japan, it's just not, there hasn't, like, it hasn't been a date out for it, unfortunately. But if you don't know um, what it is, it's a fighter, it's basically Pokemon cross Tekken and Tekken if you don't know is a very competitive fighter it's a very 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 um it's just like Street Fighter it's just like you know like it's just a regular fighter it's a fighter you know Pokemon this is Tekken this little Pokemon Pokemon tournament is literally Tekken it's just Pokemon slapped on there you know um if you don't know last couple news that we got we got Sceptile and we got Farfetch and Electro to support characters. Well, now we're starting to get a lot of uh, Wii U updates for the game itself. If you don't know, the Wii U or Pokemon Tournament is getting a Wii U bundle where you are able to get the Wii U, the new Hori game controller that's supposed to be similar to the arcade style controller you have the game itself pre-installed you have the amiibo card for shadow mewtwo and you have a moveset pamphlet that's fantastic right but unfortunately uh everybody i guess everybody found this out recently um but the official website kind of confirmed that the game has local battle mode which is great you know obviously it's gonna have local battle mode a lot of competitive people are like yes local battle mode this is yes it's epic it's epic it's epic you know local battle mode right that's fantastic because Pokemon tournament has to be a competitive game that's the only way i can see this game having any type of longevity when it comes to a couple months after the release because obviously you're going to be playing with your friends over skype obviously you're going to be playing um, for, for me being a YouTuber, obviously I'm going to be playing against viewers. Obviously I'm going to be just doing everything that the game has to offer on my channel. But for the competitive scene, I feel like the competitive scene drives longevity for the game itself. Pokemon Tournament being a Tekken clone, essentially, that's a lot of promise because it's Pokemon, one of the best selling gaming franchises known to man. And Tekken, one of the best fighting games known to man best fighting game series known to man i mean and it's it's the perfect mix you see what i'm saying um with that being said though um unfortunately they confirmed that in the local battle mode for pokemon tournament player one has to use the wii u gamepad as their controller from their perspective the player two can use the hori controller for themselves you cannot use two of the hori controllers aka the controllers that they introduced with the game the controllers are supposed to like imitate the arcade controller and the local multiplayer think about that for a minute if you stayed up to date with street fighter competitive scene or smash bros whether it be melee or smash 4 a lot of people a lot of the events that they go to or the competitive players go to are real life events they're not online tournaments you know because in those real lights of in those real life events you need to have specific inputs the game controller is one of those games or the game controller is one of the controllers that has the specific fast inputs depending on the player and when it comes to the fight stick it's the exact same way it's all about inputs with that being said though i don't know if it's just me but for the wii u gamepad a lot of the inputs that i put in are slow as fuck and if this horror controller is supposed to come and if the Hori controller, uh, I'm sorry. If the Hori controller is supposed to come and imitate the arcade version, just like the fight stick, it should be compatible with just more than one slot in the Wii U. It's stupid because it's like Namco Bandai decided all of a sudden that oh we're gonna make a Pokemon fighting game. Okay, that's fantastic. That's probably the best idea ever. Okay. 
2016, no, 2015 was literally the year of competitive fighters. I don't know if anybody stay up to date with Evo, but every single Evo stream had more views than it's had ever. And it's insane because the scenes just got bigger. More players started getting into it. And it's one of those things where you make a competitive fighter, but you only make the controller specifically for that game for one player. Local battle is literally what the competitive scenes go on because real life players come to these events with their game controllers, their fucking, um, their, uh, fight sticks. And hopefully, if they ever decide to let this up, their horror controllers for poking. Now, I don't understand how the, the horror controller is supposed to be a USB controller. I don't understand why you can't use two controllers. I'm pretty sure there's at least two or three slots. Two, it's like, it's either, it's either two, three, or four slots in the back of the Wii U that you can put in via USB. Now, granted, a lot of people are, a lot of people like to use up those USBs and shit like that. But for the regular traditional person, you don't really, like vanilla as fuck, you don't really care too much about the USBs in the back unless you're using um, your con- your USBs for like Smash and shit, you know, because that's the only controller that's compatible with the Wii U rather than the gamepad itself. With that being said, though, um, it just astounds me and it, it really, it gets to me like as why? Why would you make a Pokemon competitive fighting game, right, that you know is going to sell like hotcakes oh you think because it's pokemon it's going to be good right okay you're right it's, it's going to do amazing but i feel like they don't they didn't think about the longevity when it comes to this a lot of fighting games come from tournaments the longevity comes from the tournaments come from the players playing it you can get the sales that's amazing but i promise you and this is I, i've legit ran polls on twitter and shit and everybody's responded the game itself poking will only be good for like at least a couple of months if you think about it like this when it comes from a youtuber standpoint you're going to be playing the story mode because it's obviously going to have one you're going to be playing online with your friends you're going to be playing um on stream with your viewers you're going to be holding up little tournaments and shit the, re- the regular shit that you do with as a youtuber right but then it's like okay after you're done with the game there's several more games lined up for 2016 that would wash pokins and like re- relativity out so what's there next to do oh a competitive scene right now my thing is this this is one this is one of my um this is one of my pet peeves if you remember at pokemon world after the actual tournament they had a pokin tournament the pokin tournament the players are playing on a arcade um just regular arcade controllers that they had up there and you know if you went to pokemon world you were able to play pokin and play the game and get a feel of it my thing is if the wii u has two to four usb slots why the fuck can you just imitate the fucking hori controller and have it compatible with the wii u why would you do that what's the perp like you if if you can do that in real life with the arcade version of the game then you can most definitely make a controller compatible in a local battle mode that has two controllers it's not that it's not that hard it can't be that hard i refuse it to be that hard i promise you i refuse to hear that because it it makes no sense how nintendo the right nintendo has this um obsession with smash like yo we're gonna make a game controller you can bring your game controller you can plug that shit up you can have your may flash your adapter you can do whatever you want that's amazing that is the best thing they've ever done smash 4 is one of the best competitive games that they've had in a long ass time well granted melee's right there but and kind of platoon but it used the gamepad Melee's there, but that's Melee. That's the GameCube itself. That's probably the, one of the most relevant GameCube games even to this day. But strictly for the multiplayer. You see what I'm saying? Or the 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 competitive scene itself. Pokin has to have longevity. Why? Because in a couple of months after the release, it's going to be one of those games that just sit there. Oh, hey, you want to play Pokin six months after the release? Uh, kind of not sort of. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of into fucking Storm Four or like fucking One Piece or some other bullshit that comes out in 2016. You know what I'm saying? Like 2016 is nothing but games. But for some reason, to keep a game relevant enough, you, uh, keep a fighting game relevant enough, you decide to take away the whole competitive scene 
aspect and just say fuck it player one use the game pad player two uses the horror controller and that's it think about that the wii u game pad if you know if you if you don't know you're able to switch between tv mode and game pad mode where you can actually watch the game on your game pad you can play it that's what player one is doing player two gets the entire fat ass screen in their face just to play would you rather have a small ass screen to look at or a big fat ass screen to look at and your inputs being god body please tell me y'all are not thinking this is a good idea because if if smash 4 with the game controllers can blow off and keep its relevance not only because of smash but because of the big ass competitive scene look at naro look at zero look at esam look at all these the cat bro look at all these big ass players in smash right even the tekken people over there were like yo pokin looks dope i'm going into this people want to push pokin so bad in the competitive scene that people are actually talking about going over to this community and and going all out on pokin Pokin is one of those games where it could be a, a humongous community thing where if if you play your cards right, this could have some relevance at least for another two or three years until you decide to just make a whole new one. Because obviously in terms of sales, Pokin is going to do good. But how but how much is what what are what is sales to longevity? You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people are going to disagree. A lot of people are going to agree. But honestly, from my standpoint, I just find it stupid as fuck that you would make a fighter, that you would make a fighter, but not keep the classic traditional arcade controller that you introduce with the game and not have it to where you can use more than one. If the Wii U can have an adapter based on the game controller to where you could have more than four players then you can most definitely make a usb um usb adapter that you can put into your wii u and have two or three two controllers for poking it's not hard it cannot be hard nevco bandai has money they got hella games coming out for 2016 majority of the games for 2016 are from nevco bandai really Really? You know what? A lot. You know. You know. It's, it's gonna be crazy. It's, gonna, it's, it's really. It's not even. It's not even. Um. Hold on. It's not even. It's not even. It's not even their fault though. It's not. It's not their fault at all. You know whose fault it is. And I, and I feel like people are like legit. Um. People are. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, it actually is. It is their fault. It is their fault. Pokemon, the Pokemon Company and Nemco Bandai Entertainment are the exact ones that are pushing this shit. They're the, they're the developers. They're the publishers also. So I mean, no, Nintendo's the publisher. Pokemon Company's the publisher, and the developers are Nemco Bandai and the Pokemon Company. So it is Nemco Bandai's fault. Okay, that's that that's fantastic. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna end this video off. Um, that was my little rant. That was my um, just outlook on uh, just outlook as to the certain news that we're gonna be getting in this game, and it it actually pisses me off. It it, it really does make me mad. It, it actually does. It pisses me off so bad. It does because I was so excited. I knew I wasn't the only one that was excited for Pokemon. I saw Pokemon, and I was like, "Yo, imagine the competitive fighting scene. Imagine you going to these tournaments. Imagine actually playing the game." like they did at that Pokemon Worlds tournament but apparently you can't you can't but I don't know man alright that's gonna be it for this video uh, like comment subscribe if you want to um, and tweet this video out to Namco Bandai share this on whatever little social media platforms you want I just find it really annoying and it, it pisses me off because as as a person that um what's the word as a person that loves Pokemon and loves Tekken the old games I remember Tekken being played I haven't been up to date in the last two that's those are the only ones I haven't played and it's insane because those this Pokemon is gonna sell very well but a lot of people are gonna be disappointed a lot of people are going to be disappointed. And it's, it, it sucks because me as a YouTuber, I have to do this. I have to take, the, take this video 
flip it, do the entire playthrough of the game when the story mode comes out, play with my friends, stream with the viewers and shit because those are online. Now, it'd be a different story if out of nowhere, oh, Pokemon Tournament has no online mode. But it's like, would they really have an, an uh, online, like a no online mode when Tekken has an online mode? Really? Would they really do that? I, I highly doubt they wouldn't do that. But it's whatever. Um, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about it. I'm gonna end. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video off right here. I'm sorry for the big ass rant, y'all. I apologize, but. Like I said, if you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, share this with Namco. Tweet this at Namco Bandai. Everybody that watches this, tweet this at Namco Bandai. Let them know that this is what we want. Um, if you're watching this from a different community like Smash or or just or Tekken or whatever other community, let share this out. Share your thoughts and shit in the comment section below. Share, just share it because honestly, the only way this will ever, ever, ever like let up and the only way they'll ever like do something about it is if the community has itself speak up because if you go to that Namco Bandai, if you go look at them, they're very active on Twitter. So by all means, do your thing. Go all out. I'm sorry, y'all, for a long-ass rant. I'm actually really tired. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.